Thanks for being here. Uh, today, just wanted to have a look at something that um, many people are looking for, uh, especially nowadays on the cheap, is a USB interface. Uh, today, we're going to have a look at maybe one of the lesser known ones, but probably one of the best deals on the market, and that's the BandLab Link Digital. This one is a single input and a stereo output, and it is a class compliant USB, which means it'll work in anything that you plug it into, whether it be a PC, Mac, or even uh, Android or iOS devices. Uh, no drivers to load for it. It just loads the USB driver and that's it. So we're gonna have a look at that today. So if this is something that you're interested in, mobile recording, home studio recording, um, unboxing demos of interfaces today, just click that like button below letting YouTube know. Let's have a look at the BandLab Link Digital. Okay, so uh, on their website here, um, you're going to see Blink Digital Audio Interface. That's the one that I've got here for us to have a look at. Uh, it's 70 bucks US, and right now it is unavailable, but what you do is basically sign up for um, letting you know when the product's available, and what they'll do is they'll actually email you letting you know when they have it back in stock. You can also check out other places that carry BandLab. Um, I know Amazon carried it for a while, so you can look on Amazon. Support your local music store, get it from Sweetwater or a musician's friend. Uh, they usually have it in stock, so you can find it there. Now, just looking at the product here, you can kind of look at the uh, pictures online here, but basically, it's a single uh, digital audio interface. It's USB. Um, if you look at the output here, it's just got the single um, output on the back, but it's actually a TRRS cable, so it will provide stereo left and right signal output. Uh, so needn't worry there, and they give you a little cable to uh, set that up with, so that's pretty cool. Uh, they give you a headphone jack as well, uh, one sample rate. I mean, this is a budget interface, you know, it's not, it's not a... UAD, uh, UAD Apollo solo interface or anything like that. You know, this is $70, it's not $700. So what you're listening to on Spotify or uh, SoundCloud or who knows what else, Amazon Music or YouTube Music, that's all 16, it's, it's put down to 16-bit audio anyway. So that's what this BandLab Link Digital is gonna give you. But yeah, so, that's, so let's open this thing up and we'll have a look at it like my my opening device here that's pretty sketchy let me get something that maybe works a little better for every little mobile studio awesome pick quick stubby fantastic little thing you don't get a whole bunch of plugins with the BandLab link digital but you do get BandLab so I mean BandLab itself is is what's giving you all of the functionality because BandLab uh, and I'll put a link in the description here, or a uh, link in the description, I'll put it above here as well. BandLab is a versatile free DAW, okay? So you can record everything in to BandLab, you can, you can uh, add effects to it, they've got built-in effects. No, you can't use your own plugins per se uh, in BandLab. Well, I shouldn't say per se, you can't. You can't use your own plugins. Uh, so let's open this thing up. We got a QR code on the bottom says scan me with BandLab. Well, now I gotta do that. Open up the camera. What's it doing for us? Hey, look at that. The Link Mini is available now. <laughs> ah. You know what, I gotta say too, for something that's 70 bucks, I love the packaging. Good job, BandLab. Okay, here's the interface. It's got some weight to it. This thing weighs like a fair amount for something that's so cheap. Good solid build too. I'm impressed for 70 bucks, wow. The knobs move 
very nicely. It's got a combo uh, XLR and quarter inch jack here. Headphone output right here, gain knob, master. And on the back, you'll see here, we've got the stereo output and the USB as well. Okay, so, uh, moving on here, we got cables in the box. Okay, so as we show it on the website there, this is the output. This is the TRRS cable, so it's gonna uh, plug into the back uh, right here. Okay, and then you've got your left and right output right there. Also in the box, we've got this little thing that shows you how to connect everything. So you got everything you need here. Um, they pretty much don't leave anything out, which is very cool. Like I said, this thing is actually quite beefy. Like, just to give you a comparison, like I'm holding my 2i2, okay, 2i2 Band Lab Link Digital. Pretty straightforward, I like it. So it's like literally about half the size of the 2i2, but I promise you, they are almost the same weight. <laughs> like this, this has its own preamps in it. It's got the focus right. Uh, this has one preamp in it, I'm assuming, because it's just got one input, but it is literally just shy of the same weight of the 2i2. Pretty cool, okay? Here's a shot, top shot for you there. If you want to look at it that way, it is literally half the size but almost the same weight. Might even be an ounce heavier, holy cow. Anyway, so that's what that looks like. So let's plug it in and let's get this thing going here. Loaded up just a, just a track I've been playing around with in BandLab uh, through the online account. I added a track just by clicking here. And basically all I've done then is just set my input to the link digital. Okay, there's all my separate inputs here. And I've got monitoring enabled so I can hear in the headphones what's happening uh, through my session. And yeah, basically that's about it. Uh, so I'll just click on this track and looks like we got signal going pretty good there. Okay. really well. Let's see how it works on my iPhone. Okay, so I'll plug in my headphones here. I'm gonna need one of these. This is a USB to lightning connector. I'll put a link in the description below. Best to get the Apple certified ones, the ones that have the actual certified little chip on the inside, otherwise it might not work properly. So moving from the browser interface to my phone took about 10 seconds for it to basically save the information I did online and then allow me to open that on my phone. So 10 seconds ain't bad, right?
Okay. Works perfectly well. You know, I mean, the question is, is the BandLab Link Digital worth $70? BandLab comes with pretty much like a full DAW. I mean, it is, yes, it's free and it, you can't use your own plugins, but I mean, maybe that's a good thing. They're pretty much giving you everything that you need to make a full song within their ecosystem with effects. Yeah, there's lots of different effects to choose from. You can edit the different effects as well. They're not presets that are uneditable. You can edit all of the different presets and change the EQ, compression, uh, add delay, reverb, whatever you want. And really, those are re those are the core of the different effects that you're going to use in your music anyway. So, is seventy dollars US worth it? Yeah, I think it is. I mean, for a tiny little interface like this, I mean, it is super small. Like it, I mean, it's heavy. Like I mentioned earlier, so. <laughs> It's powered, uh, my phone powered it just now, worked perfectly. I plugged it into my M1 Mac Mini, opened up a session online in BandLab, worked perfectly there as well. You know, am I telling you to go out and buy this? That is totally up to you. I'm not encouraging things either way. I'm not sponsored by BandLab to do this at all. I'm just picking these things up and just showing you what they look like and how they work quickly so you can make maybe an educated decision that's unbiased. <laughs> so not sponsored by BandLab or anything like that. So anyway, I hope you liked this video. Uh, if you did, just click that like button below. And uh, yeah, thanks for being here. Keep making music.